Hi guys, as you remember, the last time that we talked about uh, eggplants, we made a comparison between a Kratky eggplant and uh, a Dutch bucket eggplant. Well, this is the Kratky uh, plant, and as you can see, we still have our eggplant and a couple of flowers. So, in two weeks time, this, uh, uh, this plant did not really develop a lot. Let's go and check the situation uh, with the Dutch bucket system. As you can see from this point of view, the situation is really, is really nice. Let's go and check below the leaves what is happening. There are many, many eggplants. Some of them are in the early stage of development, such as this fruit. Some of them are in almost at the last stage of development and we can see many many of them. We still have uh, many flowers. Open flowers and closed flowers. So this let me guess that uh, this let, lets me assume that uh, there will be many many more eggplants to come. As you can see, I'm really satisfied with this system. Even if this system, as I told you maybe in the first video, even if this even if this system is uh, taking only uh, approximately two or three hours of sun per day. So this is not the best position for this eggplant. Let's go and check the water reservoir. Well, uh, this reservoir has been working for I think three months already without any kind of problem. So even for this reservoir and the capacity of this reservoir I am really happy. Uh, in these days I decided to uh, make a change of water. How am I proceeding? Well, I started by um, interrupting the, uh, the new addition of water. Usually this valve is working because whenever the level goes down new water will add to the system. So I just stopped reintegrating water and I just leave the system uh, absorb all the water together with the relevant nutrients uh, until the water level goes down to almost zero. At that time I will remove water, I will clean the system and I will add um, new water but only uh, reverse osmosis water and I will uh, let, the work, let the system work with reverse osmosis water for about two or three days in order to flush the system, to flush the roots, to maybe be able to uh, solute uh, all the salts which are uh, in the system at the root surface level as well in the, in the, in the buckets or wherever those salts have uh, settled down. After that I will proceed putting new ingredients, new uh, fertilizer um, in order to uh, let the system start again with uh, uh, a solution of 2500 microsiemens per centimeter. Uh, just because we are doing the video today let's go and check which are the uh, working parameters. We already saw water, the water level, which is uh, uh, dropping to, uh, to the bottom because I am changing the water. Let's go and, and check the pH as well as the conductivity value. Uh, many, many people measure pH and conductivity inside the reservoir. Well, that is not the best idea, even if I did it maybe in one or two videos, but I did it because I was a little bit lazy, knowing that I was doing something wrong. Uh, 
uh, with this kind of system, I mean with the Dutch bucket system, you need to take all measurements about the working parameters such as pH and conductivity um, at the outlet of the bucket. So, in my case, if you know, the outlet of the bucket is this channel. So here I have all the water coming from the eggplant. Let's go and check the pH. Okay, 6.5, so we are still in the uh, working range, I remember that we are working, I'm working between 5.5 and 6.5. Anyway, in this period, in this moment, since the water level is decreasing a lot, uh, we can have uh, large variations both in pH but especially in conductivity uh, this is not really a big issue because um, uh, this is a temporary situation and as long as it remains a temporary situation this is uh, nothing to uh, to take care of I mean the plant will will manage those kind of variations without any problem by the way uh, we are working with a conductivity of 2500 microsiemens per centimeter, uh, but eggplants can withstand even a solution of uh, 3500 until 4000 4, microsiemens without uh, many problems. And in fact, I think next year I will I will try to um, uh, to work at those higher conductivity values. But for the moment we are working at 2500. So now let's see what is the conductivity value. So we switch on the instrument, we put it on the output. It is almost 39 hundred microsiemens per centimeter okay so 3900 compared to 2500 is approximately 50 percent more well 3900 um, is not a problem even even if it is for a long period of time so I'm not really concerned about this uh, temporary situation that will last I think approximately uh, one week because I need three, two, three or four days to empty all the reservoir and then uh, two days working with uh, just reverse osmosis water. So all, all, all this temporary situation will last approximately uh, one week of time. Um, what should I say more? Mm, I should say that uh, I'm really positive about the uh, Dutch bucket system with the eggplants. Uh, therefore, I think this is this system is approved for eggplants uh, even for next year. Uh, this is a very very easy system, easy easy system to build, easy system to to operate, easy system to maintain. Uh, I'm not that kind of guy that every day looks at pH or at conductivity because uh, I mean plant must work for you. You don't have to work for the plant. So I'm that kind of guy that gives um, wide margins to the plants, uh, especially as far as the conductivity or the pH level is concerned. I'm not going to control every day. I control maybe once every two weeks or once every, every month. And then I take action if there is action to be taken, of course. So uh, I think this is of course my personal opinion. This is the way I operate and I don't want to teach anybody uh, uh, anything. This is just my personal view uh, about hydroponics. Um, I'm also satisfied with the, the eggplant situation because one of the reasons 
to um, uh, switch from uh, conventional soil uh, um, garden to a hydroponic garden was also the uh, fact that I was not able to produce eggplants in my uh, soil garden. Uh, I don't know why, because I did also the rotation, I mean, uh, where I planted eggplants one year, the next year I would plant uh, anything else, and then uh, after three years I would plant eggplants again, but I never had any success with eggplants. So I, th this is one of the reasons uh, why I switched uh, to hydroponics. and. Now that I see my eggplants, I'm, I'm really satisfied and I'm really happy. Okay, guys, I uh, thank you for the attention. I wish you happy growing and see you next time. Bye-bye.